Ask anyone who receives a large number of emails if they actually read them fully, and the answer is a resounding no. When submitting your CV on a speculative basis or in response to an advertised position, expect your application to be one of a huge number as well as one of many tasks on a to-do list. Expect a full-time recruiter to look at your email cover note for just 10 seconds. That's very much the norm. Only if it is relevant might they read it more fully, and if it is relevant, they are most likely to simply click to open up and read your CV. Determine what the hiring manager wants most from a prospective candidate, either by what is written in the job advert or by putting yourself in the shoes of the hiring manager and trying to second-guess what they are most looking for. Remember, the hiring manager is the person to whom the position will report. And then, without lying, outline how your skills, experience, or accomplishments add value. The more information you write, the less it will be read. So keep your cover note to just three or four paragraphs and keep those paragraphs short, ideally just two or three short, bullet-pointed lines. Ideally, have someone check over your email cover notes for any spelling or grammatical errors. Some people spend hours crafting and tweaking lengthy, complex email cover notes. This is a waste of time when short and sharp is most effective. In the subject header, always include your first and last name and state the position you are applying for. If it is a speculative application, i.e. you are applying for a role which has not been advertised or where you may not be sure if a vacancy exists, we suggest you state your first and last name and write in the subject header a speculative application for the title of the role you are applying for. In the message area, start off by using the first name of the person to whom you are applying. Then state why you are making contact. For example, attached, please find my CV resume in application for the position of, state the job title, which you advertised in or on, the name of the job board or publication. The rest of your email should be short and sharp. The more information, the less likely it is to be read. If they are interested in finding out more, they can read more about you in your CV resume. We advocate you draw attention to three attributes which substantiate your credentials for the role. Characteristics such as experience in the employer's line of business, qualifications or certifications which are directly relevant to the role, and how you have contributed to the success of your employer company, for example, your track record of performance or accomplishments in the role. These will be strongest when stating facts and figures which substantiate your accomplishments with an emphasis on the positive. In other words, which show you to be a successful contributor. We suggest you avoid including any details of your salary package. If the employer company is interested, they can ask you about this. An example of a way to end your email would be to say, I have attached a copy of my CV resume which outlines my skills and would welcome the opportunity to speak with you on the phone or meet up in person to discuss this further. End it with a warm parting gesture like, with regards. And be sure to state both your first and last name, and your email address, and your mobile cell phone number.